another cool thing about impress is the presence of our action buttons so let's go back to our slide blah 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 winter yeah that's always annoying um then you're going to talk about spring you've got fall with your table sales okay and there you go so imagine that you're going through your slides and then you're about you're here your slide eight and you want to go back to the slide four to talk about your chart um, in order to go back normally you would have to use the left arrow one two three so uh, let's go to the number five so the problem is that to go from a to five here we only have two th three slides but it could be 20 slides so going back with the left arrow is very annoying especially if you have many animations in between so you'd have to um, um, type at least like 30 or 40 times your left arrow another way you can do it is just go right click go to slide and then go to slide 5 the problem with this method is that first of all you have to remember by heart uh, where your chart is so now we know it's five but if you have many charts you will not remember so in order to avoid that you could rename slide number five how do we do that you go slide number five here is a name slide five right click rename chart sales for example and then I'm a slide eight, right click, go to slide, chart sales. But if I want to go back to eight, I have to go right, right click, go to slide eight. And this is not very, um, very pleasant for your audience. And so, especially if imagine you're sending um, the file to somebody by internet, and then they are supposed to know that they have to do right click, go to slide blah 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 they don't know how to do that so you have to make their lives easier what you can do is create a button here I'm going to um, go here layout um, oops. do it like that so I can create a button here and when I click on it when people click on it they're going directly to slide number five in order to click a button, a button is actually any object. So you can just go to your, I don't remember what it's called. It's called the drawing toolbar. And you can take something like a rectangle, drag, drag, slide, and here's your button. It's up to you for the, as far as the appearance is concerned. You can just do double click write something and then of course you can just right click um, area and you can change the appearance of the of the button uh, and the line around and the the text blah 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 so the time being we only have a rectangle with some text in it so we have to transform it to, into a link so I just click once and then right click interaction and then action at mouse click go to page and then I can say go to slide number five I have um, renamed it already but I didn't have to so chart sales okay and you can see the mouse becomes the cursor becomes, it's actually a pointer or an arrow, becomes uh, a hand. Let's go see. F5, slideshow, blah, 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 blah. Go to sales chart. Click and you go back to where you want. If I want, I can have a button here to go back to slide number eight. And I can navigate within my, uh, within my um, presentation like that. Oh, sorry 
and then right click interaction and you can go to first slide last slide go to page blah 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 go to document so you can open a document or run a program like that uh, or exit presentation play sound so there you go you can play around with with uh, previous next blah 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 so you can play around and find out what else you can do with your action buttons.